Did you know you're actually already good at math because you have problem solving ability within yourself, like when you solved puzzles as a kid, and that's what math is, it's problem solving. So today we're gonna build your math sense. I'm a state math champion, and I also scored perfect scores on the ACT and SAT math, each with 10 minutes to spare. We're gonna have some fun today, guys. So every time I ask a question, I would like you to pause the video, try to answer it yourself, and then continue the video. This is interactive and in how you're really gonna get super good at math, such that school math is gonna be so easy. I use nine bricks to build the wall of five layers as shown. How many layers of the wall in the same pattern can I build if I have 100 bricks? So pause here and make sure you really understand the problem by saying what it's asking you to do in your own words. For problems like this, it's always good to start from small examples. Right here, we have five layers. But what if we have three layers? Then we have one plus two plus one equals four bricks. Let's try and find a pattern. With five layers, we have one, two, three, two, and one. So one plus two plus three plus two plus one bricks, which equals nine. Similarly, without having to draw it out, we know that the bricks where there are seven layers will be one plus two, plus three, plus four, plus three, plus two, plus one, and that adds up to 16. Do you see anything? So when I ask these questions, this is a time to pause and ask yourself if you see anything yourself. Math is like a puzzle and that's what makes it fun and eventually makes you able to solve any new problem without having to see that exact same thing. That's the way they teach it in school, which is wrong. It's okay if you didn't see it. Eventually through this series, you're gonna build your own math sense. This first number is two squared. This one is three squared. And then we got four squared. We can pretty confidently say that this is the pattern. So in general for N, where here the N is two, the N is three and the N is four, we will have the equation one plus two plus n minus one plus n plus n minus one, all the way down to two plus one equals n squared. Therefore, if we have 100 bricks, that means that our n squared equals 100 and that's 10 squared. So n equals 10. I'm gonna clear the board real quick. With n equals 10, that means our brick wall looked like the following. First layer has one, the second layer has two bricks, three all the way to nine plus 10, that middle numbers are n, all the way back to two bricks and one brick. And the number of layers we have is just how many numbers we have here because our first layer has one brick, our second layer has two, third layer has three, and our 19th layer has one brick. How many numbers are here without having to write it all out? Well, we have 10 numbers at the start and then we just count all the way down from nine to one. So that's nine numbers here, which means we have 10 plus nine equals 19 layers. And that is our answer. I use nine bricks to build the wall of five layers as shown. How many layers of the wall in the same pattern can I build if I have 169 bricks? So this is a practice problem to check your understanding of the problem that we walked through together. Now pause and solve this yourself and leave your answer in the comments. I use nine bricks of dimension one by two to build the wall of five layers as shown. If the wall of 13 layers in the same pattern is built, what is the perimeter of this new wall? To see the solution for how to solve this problem, then check out this video. Keep building your math sense, and next time you'll be getting that 100% on a math test super easy.